And there we go. We got it. All right. <laughs>
I think, a second red source because we will need that for the Goldspan Dragon later on. Uh, and then I think what we're going to do is just uh, hit this with the, the Mutate. This could very easily run into a counter, and that's fine, but uh, I feel like it's probably the best bet here. Yep. Totally fine. Uh, this is going to be a very frustrating matchup for sure because this is going to be a very counter heavy deck. I'm assuming a very sweeper heavy deck, uh, which just means that we are going to run into some issues. What we should have done is probably unsubstantiate, left up the unsubstantiate this turn, but we did not, uh, and that is okay. So let's go ahead and play this for blue. Uh, and I think we just try again. Um, We've got the unsubstantiate this time. Uh, they very easily could have a settle the wreckage or something like that. So we'll see how this one goes. Looks like they don't. Um, I'm all too happy to hit the absorb with the unsubstantiate. We'll put this under, of course. And then this allows us uh, to see the truth and then put the unsubstantiate back into our hand, uh, which is just really nice. That is a really great way to be able to deal with some counters and that kind of thing. Uh, Scene cards. Okay. So we get all of those? Is that how that works? Yes. Okay. That is how that works. That's part of why that's such a good card. Okay. My apologies. Uh, so see the truth basically allows you to draw three cards. That was one thing I did forget to mention. So uh, this allows you, if it's played from your graveyard, you just get to draw three, which is kind of ridiculous. But look at that, guys. We did it. Win number one is in the books. Let's go ahead and jump into game number two. And here we are, guys. Let's see if we can do that once more. Uh, do we want to keep this hand? This is a bit of an odd one, I'll be honest. Uh, but we do have the Seize the Spoils. I think it's worth it to try and keep. Um, we've also got the Prismari Command and just a Spike Field Hazard. So we've got some ways to kind of uh, play out whatever the opponent decides to do. I am going to lead on the Pathway land here. Uh, next turn, we can obviously play the Spike Field Hazard. Truthfully, we should have probably led with that, but that's okay. In fact, we definitely should have, um, but I think it's going to work out regardless. Bit of a misplay on my end for sure, but I am going to go ahead and hit that now. Uh, and then next turn, we of course have Prismari Command or Seize the Spoils, whichever we decide to do. Uh, playing a bit loosely though, do need to make sure we rein that in. I'm expecting that this is going to be the Golgari like uh, Explore combo, uh, which is, yep, the Wild Growth Walker. Very, very frustrating deck for sure. Um, so the question becomes, what do we want to do? I mean, we could leave up unsubstantiate that would return this to the hand if we'd like it to, or we can just go ahead and seize the spoils. I think I'm in the camp of doing this, uh, and actually discarding one of the Prismari commands here. There's the gold span dragon. We do have it next turn. So that's really, really good. Uh, and very crucially, we can play the gold span attack with it and then, uh, have that unsubstantiate up. Uh, as well. So I'm very glad we did the Seize the Spoils play there. Great. Very good. Uh, thankfully, didn't have a huge hit that turn, and we're not going to be running into any kind of uh, removal this turn, just because they have no mana available. Uh, so let's get the attack in. And we leave up that unsubstantiate and hope that uh, the opponent doesn't have anything too crazy. But we'll see. Sure. Um, at this point, truthfully, we kind of just want something that will, uh, we'll let that hit. I think we truthfully just want like a mutate ability, uh, like Vadrock would be amazing because it would really push us in the right direction here, but there is a Bolus's Citadel. That's obviously pretty scary. Um, I think we actually take the three. I'm not stressing, uh, the the Citadel is really the big problem here, so we want to make sure we're not just losing out to that. Um, okay, not necessarily great, not bad, uh, but not great. Let's see the truth first. Let's see if we can pull something here. There's a divide by zero, that's not bad. Um, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and bounce that Wild Growth Walker, I believe. Um, what do we want here? Uh, we can just search, we can introduction to annihilation. I think we actually just take the environmental sciences. It's not super exciting, of course, but, uh, it is a play. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and do it. Gains us a couple life. It also gives us a land, which is great. Um, and then we can attack in here. 
Now again, we have that unsubstantiate available to us for when they probably just go for the Golgari Citadel, um, which should just blank their turn. I mean, they, they're not going to have a whole lot. Um, let's go ahead and do this. It's going to, at the very least, slow them down, uh, which is great. And then next turn, the idea is hopefully we can get some stuff to put this back into our hands. So we will certainly do our best to make that happen. Uh, let's do this. We'll discard. Uh, we'll discard you. It doesn't matter too much, truthfully. Um, there's another unsubstantiate, which is pretty good. Um, I wish very heavily we could just blow up something of theirs, but we cannot. Uh, okay. So let's do this. And let's do this. Um, we're going to take both of those actions naturally. Um, we'll throw both of those back. Now we've got extra. Do we want to do it again? I think so. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to take both of them again. Um, OK, well, that's interesting. So let's throw both of these back. We do get a treasure token here. I'm going to throw this on here. Um, and we may not get super far this time, of course, but we do have the, the tokens, so that's kind of OK. Um, let's do this. And we'll end the turn. So now we, we end with two treasure tokens. We're slowly kind of whittling them down here. Uh, and again, we just <laughs> unsubstantiate the Bolus' Citadel um, to, to kind of knock them off their, their game here. Um, and I am going to take the four. We need to keep this unsubstantiate for the Bolus of Citadel. I think that's just the right play. Uh, land is so unfortunate there. Um, is there a consideration to keep this? I don't necessarily think so. I'm going to go ahead and play it. There are situations where it would be relevant to with things like Prismari Command or Seize the Spoils. Sometimes it's nice to keep a land in hand, but we do kind of want as much mana as we can get. So I think it's worth holding on to. And one more time, we're just going <laughs> to... Um, not, I mean, they're probably very frustrated, but truth be told, this is our last opportunity to, to make this work. So we are kind of at a, a loss here if we, uh, don't get too far. Um, all right. They also gain life. So they're getting out of range for us here. Uh, we really, really need not a land. Oh man. All right. Well, we lose then. Truthfully, that's not a good attack, um, but it's all good. They they won regardless. They get to play that Bolus' Citadel this turn um, and and they're good to go. They just attack. All right. Well, let's jump into game number three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, do we keep this? I think with the double expressive iteration, I think we're pretty safe to keep it. Um, generally, you can hit a land off of these, which is just kind of nice. Uh, we'll throw a blue out first. Um, yeah, that last game was very unfortunate. I think if we had drawn anything other than lands, just any mutate card would have done wonders for us because we could have at the very least gotten some further, gotten further down into the deck. Um, but that's okay. It is what it is. Let's see what the opponent does. Oh, oh, very interesting. Um, okay. Well, that's a bit scary. Uh, let's do this. Put one of them into our hand. We're going to take you. Definitely. Uh, you go into the deck and you, we are playing this turn. So we're going to throw this out. Uh, and we just pass here. We do have to discard a card. I think it's just very clearly Defiant Strike. Doesn't really matter because we theoretically are going to get to replay it. So. Top six cards. They did not hit anything off of that. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, this says Flying and Vigilance. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I truthfully don't want them to... I mean, this is an instant. We don't necessarily have to just fire that off. So I think we just wait. We'll see what they've got here. They did foretell a card. Uh, two cards, in fact. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going to do this now. They can just replay it, I suppose. Uh, but I think we take the introduction um, because that does give us an out. That might have been a bad play. I don't know. We probably could have waited. Um, Terror of the Peaks. That's very good. Let's do this. Let's see. Um, I actually don't think we do that. I think the play is to to get terror with that. 
So they can play five with terror, but that's probably about it. Uh, and with that in mind, let's go ahead and do this. Um, now, do we want to... No, I think we don't yet. We'll see what they do. I kind of want to leave up negate. That might have been a... That may have been a very risky play, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to negate that. Cool. Perfect. That works great. Um, all right. So now what do we want to do, I guess, is the question. Um, ugh, so many options. Um, I mean, we, we can just throw this on here. That would give us a card back in our hand. Plus, we could bounce the Righteous Valkyrie. Uh, alternatively, eh, I think that might just be the best bet. Let's do that. We'll obviously put that under. We're going to play divide by zero. Uh, and we're going to throw you back in our hand, maybe? Could kind of go either way. Uh, throw that Righteous Valkyrie back. Uh, what do we want to pull here? This plus... Prismari command could do some work. Uh, or we could just take this. Maybe that's just the best option. Uh, yeah, let's let's get rid of you. I don't really like Kalia. Um, is it Kalia that's the name, right? I don't know. But regardless, it's just a very frustrating card to deal with. All right. So they do get just a free turn here, um, which isn't necessarily great for us, but... We'll see how they uh, decide to play it. We do have the introduction to Annihilation. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Honestly, it's not the end of the world, really. Um, it does kind of suck because we don't necessarily have a lot that we can do this turn. We're just going to throw out Goldspan and tack in. Uh, let's throw you out there. And I think we just wait. Uh, the trick is we can't play any of the cards in our hand plus something else. So that's kind of our problem here. Um, hmm. I'm going to take the opportunity to do this now. I um, <clears throat> think we do this, uh, and we get both of them, obviously. All right. Um, what do we discard? We, we do have to discard two cards. I think it's just these two. Um, then we draw a card off of this, which is nice. Cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this. Um, then, so we can start to mutate here if we would like, which I think we do. I think we just go for it. Uh, this is going to obviously create that treasure token. We're going to go under. Uh, and then we get to play something for three or less. Which I think is potentially just Prismari Command. Uh, we're going to deal two and create a treasure. Deal two here, create that treasure there. And there we go. We got it. All right. A <laughs> uh, little unexpected, but you know what? I will take it. All right. So let's uh, let's chat about this deck. All right, so as I said at the top of this video, uh, this this deck has gained a little bit of viability as of as of late uh, with a few different minor iterations uh, or iteration changes. Um, this one is a little bit lacking on the mutate end, but has a lot of power in the uh, instant and sorcery end. So we, I think, are able to handle ourselves better against a wider range of things. We're also a little less susceptible to the sweepers, uh, depending on kind of how you look at it, but. Uh, regardless, this deck is great. Um, I think we got very unlucky in game two when it came to drawing a couple lands in a row there, uh, especially considering we had kind of dug through our deck a good bit. I was expecting that we would at least hit something to mutate. Uh, unfortunately, that was not the case, but that's okay. Uh, but game one's, games one and three, we obviously were able to take down, and man, what a, what a cool deck. It's a very fun one. Um, being able to kind of mutate onto the same creature, but then as well hold up the mana to protect it, 
is so cool to me. Uh, just very, very nice, very synchronized, very synergistic, all the good things. Uh, and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure we do have our challenge week going on. Next week's challenge has been announced. The, the game plan is to build a historic deck focused around old Gnawbone. Uh, see if you can build something really creative. We are going to be giving points for creativity as well as wins. Uh, and I kind of like that structure. I think we might go and uh, stick with that for a little while. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for, for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you very soon for some more gameplay videos.